and I'm a volunteer here at Burnaby Village Museum and I'm going to be showing you our log cabin. So if you'd like to come in, let's have a look. So this is our log cabin and as you can see it's one room. Now a cabin this size would probably have had maybe a husband and wife and one child or maybe two. People often ask where did they sleep? The ladder that goes up to our attic, we show an attic, only half of one. They would have had mattresses up there, not nice beds like we have today. A very important part of the room would be here, where we get our water. Back in the uh, early days, you had a pump. So, you were pumping your water. You would have to make sure you had lots of dry wood ready in the morning. Put it in this part of your stove wait for the stove to heat up then you could put your water on your stove or this large space here is a water reservoir and during the day you could keep this filled with water and so you would have a constant supply of water and that's our triangle that would call my husband and son perhaps in from the woods so that they knew their dinner was ready now this is a typical tub they might have used to do their laundry and just think how much water you would have to heat and to transport to fill this up. Scrub your clothes. You could then use the wringer or a mangle, it was sometimes called. If it's raining, you could put your laundry on a pulley like this. And it's nice and close to the stove. Our poor ladies in the 1920s, their iron sat on the stove, waited for the heat of the stove to heat the iron. Then you could use it. If your iron was too hot, you're going to burn perhaps your husband's best shirt or your only good dress. So you always had a little piece of fabric to test it on to make sure it wasn't too hot. This is a sock stretcher because wool shrinks. And if I had this size sock, didn't put it on a sock stretcher, I would have very tiny socks when it dried. We show a bathtub up there and that would be brought down once a week, put in front of the stove filled with hot water. Think how much water you had to pump and heat to fill a bathtub, which is why everybody used the same bath water. I hope you'll be able to come down to Burnaby Village Museum, have a look at it in person, and see the rest of our lovely exhibits here. <laughs>